Hey everyone, welcome to this radio video. And uh, I have a little demonstration on this video of decoding some digital modes. And uh, we're gonna use for that W1AW that actually sends digital bulletins every night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's uh, 0200 hours UTC on uh, several frequencies, but the one that will probably propagate well here is uh, 3.5975 upper sideband. Now they have a revolving schedule of modes and today's mode is going to be apparently MFSK16 and Baudo, which is radio teletype. So uh, I'm using uh, FLDG which is right here in the computers right next to the radio so what I'll do is right here I'll show you that what I do is I go to the hop mode go into MFSK I'll put it in mode 16 since that's what it's supposed to be and uh, we should normally see the signal show up in the waterfall here at the bottom and the text should uh, actually show up on the computer so let's wait for W1AW signal to appear on the radio. And of course we'll uh, actually is there but oh that's interesting it's kind of off it's supposed to be here so here it is and looks like I took the frequency wrong but uh, okay so here it is so what we do is we go here we put the waterfall and the uh, mode together here and as soon as we do that we should have clear text show up in the window here. Let's do it like that. Hope you guys can read. So I want to show you the waterfall and the text at the same time. So this isn't actually decoding. And it seems faster than MFSK 16. Let's try MFSK 32 here. Nope, it is MFSK 16 by size. For some reason, it's not decoding well. Oh, here I think we're getting it. There we go. Now, you see that I had to adjust. I wasn't probably perfect on the waterfall. There's also, the signal isn't the best. Uh, you know, it's about S7, so it's noisy. And, but now we have clear decoding of the digital bulletin from W1AW so uh, it is really really interesting I'm just going to check the frequency again because I'm uh, wondering if I didn't so uh, digital 3.5975 that's interesting it does say 3.5975 probably they mean centered so here is uh, Lost the lock here, which is uh, typical. Signal is really not that great. We'll try another one because I hear I'm on uh, 80 meters. Uh, frequencies. Let's try 7095. Not coming in at all, so. Uh, to put it here. Usually with good signal this decodes quite well normally. But now it's uh, really not very good. I 
if you take out the attenuator, signal is about S8, S9, and this is actually rather weak. I normally have uh, W1AW signal here booming in at um, like S, you know, 20 over S9 or something like that. But I am uh, decoding now. So this gives you an idea, and this actually, the signal is a great, great, great signal to the code uh, digital text. Um, the frequencies they give is uh, 35975, 7095, 14095, uh, 18102.5, 21095 and 28095. These are the digital transmissions. They usually have two modes of transmissions every day. So they start with mode 1 and mode 2. And if you go to the uh, ARRL.org website, you have the full schedule and what modes depending on the day. So now we're Wednesday night. Wednesday night is MS, MFSK 16, that's what you're hearing here. Uh, then it's going to shift Baldo, which is a uh, radio teletype mode. So uh, usually we'll have radio teletype switch somewhere in the middle. Uh, reception seems to be a little better now, so let's hope the lock on the uh, signal is uh, there. What's interesting about this is uh, they often have uh, nice bulletins of uh, the uh, solar activity and also some uh, QST magazine uh, loggings of stations. So it's uh, always a nice little thing to do. So the schedule for digital is, uh, from what I see here, twice a day. They have 2300 hours Zulu, 2300 hours UTC, and 0200 hours UTC. And they always use the same frequencies. It's always interesting to, uh, you know, decode these signals. What's nice about the uh, ARL bulletins is that they also give an ear. So, uh, you know, you'll train your ear to what each digital signal sounds like. So when you hear them on the bands, you know that it's this or that mode. Um, MFSK is getting quite popular as a mode and now when I hear it on the handbands I'm pretty sure most of the time it's MFSK. What you'll need to probably train your ear also is the speed. Um, knowing what speed we are transmitting on that mode just by ear as the speed is bigger and also the size of the waterfall at the bottom you see the size of the signal and um, you know a faster signal is often wider uh, not always but you know in some modes so there's all sorts of little things to, to to look at and try to decode different modes
I should actually do one thing. I can take this and actually drop it lower and have more text for you guys and less uh, blue. For those that are wondering what the blue part is, is um, it's for the transmission. It's like a uh, email window if you want. You have what you receive in one window and at the bottom, the blue section, you can actually when you're transmitting, because FLDG does allow you to transmit also, you write in that window and that's what you are sending to the other person. So I am tuned to the 80 meter band. Just 3596.45. Show you just a few seconds the radio here, then we'll go back to uh, the text. So, this is a frequency I'm tuned to, and uh, I have the wire hooked up to my computer. As you see here, the uh, microphone input is right here in the front of my old Toshiba PC with Windows 7, and I'm using FLDG, which is a great, great piece of software for decoding. Um, these different modes so it's always pretty cool here to tune the bands on that so even if it's a little noisy you see that it's actually not too bad of a decode it was uh, kind of difficult at the beginning but now I think uh, it's quite good FLDG is a free piece of software you get on the net. Works on Windows uh, XP, Vista 7 and 8. And um, all of my computers that I've installed it works really well. And um, I believe there's a Linux version for uh, any one of you out there that might be using a Linux. Uh, there's a Linux version of this. Interesting to see on the waterfall all, all the different uh, interference signals showing up there. One thing to notice is the color of the waterfall. Um, when you are decoding signals, what you want is to have a difference in color. Like here you see blue and yellow. And what you want is tr to try not to have red because when you go to the red, it means that the signals start to get a little, the audio is a little too strong actually. Another digital signal just popping up on the same frequency. It's been happening quite often lately. We're almost wondering if it's not, you know, intentional interference. A lot of people actually don't like the fact that there are uh, broadcasts because, you know, technically this is kind of a broadcast. It's there every day, uh, twice a day on that frequency. And a lot of amateur radio operators actually hate the fact that there are regular broadcasts on their amateur bands like uh, nets and uh, all sorts of you know amateur radio broadcasts of this kind. 
which personally I don't really mind. Um, you know, as long as uh, there aren't too many that, you know, we still have lots of frequencies to actually talk. interesting article about propagation and the bands opening up. Talking about the huge sunspot uh, that crossed the solar disk. Because uh, I'm talking about the sweepstick, which is uh, which, well, last weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Always amazes me that uh, with a signal on shortwave, you can actually use a computer and decode what's being said. Pretty cool. If you're looking for the frequencies and times of broadcast, I'll be posting them on the uh, comments below the YouTube video uh, or the description, sorry, of the video. So um, if you look at the description of the video, I'll uh, be, I'll post the date, the, the time and the um, frequencies of these W1AW uh, digital bulletins. And these have been sent out, uh, sent out for a long time. Uh, back in the 80s, when I had a uh, Commodore 64, I had the SWL cartridge that would decode RTTY, radio teletype. And I remember receiving this digital bulletin way back in the 80s. So it gives you an idea that this m digital mode bulletin has been sent out for a long time. Sorry to hear about the screen. Uh, it's been really, really sent out for a long time. They have up to three different modes in an evening, um, but I've never actually heard more than two, um, and sometimes only one. So uh, it really depends on what they have to say and uh, if they switch or not. So, uh, but they they do if they do have a lot of stuff to say, they can switch up to three different modes, and they change and uh, alternate all the modes during a schedule every day so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday don't have the same uh, modes every day 
but some mouths come back but not in the, the same order for for example now we're Wednesday it's MFSK 16 that starts but on other nights it could be uh, RTTY Baldo it could be uh, BPSK 31 and so on it's a great way to really practice changing modes in FLDG and uh, since you have a nice clear stable signal from W1AW well you know that you, know, you can try it every day if you need to uh, test your ability to uh, decode digital modes It's also a nice way to uh, use the radio to get uh, the solar indices as you get the solar indices and um, propagation reports. It's pretty cool. And here, ZCZC means it's the end. QST W1AW. Quarters in Newington, Connecticut, which is not that far from where from Montreal, basically. There's a little news bulletin about Hamsat celebrating 40 years in space for AO7, Amateur Oscar 7, which is a satellite, amateur satellite. It is interesting to note that it's uh, now 20 minute, 21 minutes past uh, 9 and uh, they haven't switched mode. So I'm wondering if tonight I think that the, uh, the full bulletin is going to be only in MFSK 16. If you're wondering if you need a really powerful computer for uh, decoding, well, you know, this is a six-year-old laptop that has a dual-core machine with Windows 7. So it gives you an idea of uh, even old machines work very well in decoding. If you've got an old uh, Windows XP machine that, you know, is lying around, doesn't do anything anymore, why not uh, recycle that machine for uh, digital modes on the computer? and use it only for decoding digital modes with the radio and the computer. It's a great way to recycle the machine to do something else than you know, going on the web.
interesting AO7 satellite article here. Should try that to uh, maybe catch the uh, AO7 beacon on 29502. That would be a nice catch, actually. And uh, of course, I could try it on uh, 145972 in VHF. Interesting to note this Morse code signal that just added to the confusion of the digital mode here. Usual ARL bulletins last about anywhere from 25 to 35 to 40 minutes, depending on what they have to say. Well, this is going to be the full bulletin, so you'll have the full bulletin available on the video if you want to watch all. Oh the way through and read the text. Um, I don't see the text on the my camera here but I'm pretty sure that uh, since it's an HD camera uh, we will probably be able to read the text quite easily. the end of the transmission and there it just ended and since it lasted 30 minutes I don't expect them to come back in any other mode uh, so tonight you see they only had one mode which means that uh, they just used MFSK16 and that's it. So they don't even switch every day. 
Um, I've heard often a switch of two different modes. Never had the opportunity to hear three modes, but uh, you see tonight was only one mode, so sometimes they don't switch at all. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bulletin from W1AW decoded live on my uh, radio and my old laptop using FLDG software. So uh, why not try it uh, if you want to you know, tune around and uh, try to uh, get uh, a signal from W1AW.